you have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I thought I would do a little bit of a sit down video. I don't think this is gonna be a majorly long video. Something that I wanted to know before I started prep were some kind of like prep hacks, things that can get you through prep um, and make food and drinks a little bit less boring. And for some people on prep, things like artificial sweeteners just don't sit well so obviously judge it by your own body for me i haven't had an issue with artificial sweeteners or anything like that i thought i would share with you some of my favorite things that i will continue to use after prep and after my competition prep has kind of encouraged me to try new things which has been really really cool so i've got a whole array of things and i thought i would just show you a few of my favorites so first up protein so if you look back on my instagram from a year year and a half ago i was not a protein powder lover drinking protein drinks protein shakes just didn't like it wasn't for me thought how am I ever gonna get through a prep if I don't like protein powder? Obviously, <laughs> the best thing to do is to get protein from your food. But when I was in my off season, it was so difficult uh, to try and get as much protein as I needed all through food because I was so full up. So a lot of the time you need to then drink liquid calories. So Chris got me on to perform way and hands down it is the best protein powder that i have ever tried and i genuinely get excited and look forward to drinking my um protein shakes i've got two flavors chris oh my god i might have to put a photo in of our sup wall that we've got like shelves chris has i'm pretty sure tried pretty much every single flavor of perform way he loves loads of them i've got three that i actually really enjoy two of them that i've got so the first one and i think this will forever be my favorite is the perform way in chocolate orange oh my god it is just so chocolatey it's the best thing that i have tasted um i love mixing this into porridge i love having this as um a drink a protein shake this is incredible and i will continue to buy this after prep uh, honestly this is lovely my second favorite protein powder from perform way is the banana cream flavor i have been searching for a banana protein powder for the longest time and i tried one from my protein it smelled incredible but it just tasted absolutely horrendous really kind of chemically wasn't good and so i didn't have high hopes i got the sample and i didn't have high hopes for this but oh my goodness it tastes banana-y it tastes creamy it is literally a banana milkshake um and i just mix it with water i don't have the calories to mix my protein powders with milk right now my preferred way would be to mix it with milk but with water this is amazing as well it's just it's so good whilst we're talking about drinks i think i will show you a couple of my other favorites i used to be a girl that would double scoop a pre-workout <laughs> But now I just don't enjoy drinking them. I prefer having a non-stim and like a pump formula uh, because yeah, it's cool seeing your muscles pumped. I actually tend to reach for energy drinks. Now, I love all of the monster drinks. The white one and the blue one are my favorites. Also like the green one, also like the pineapple one. But lately my absolute favorite energy drink has been the Iron Brew No Sugar Energy. I love iron brew and I think this isn't a popular opinion. I don't know. I love iron brew in general. I think it's a Scottish thing or an Irish thing. I'm not sure, but my mum loves it. She's Scottish, so we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> um, we saw these in B&M and I was like, I have to try that. There isn't a lot of caffeine in here, 
but it just kind of gives me that edge of something and that boost and I really really enjoy drinking this I have it usually on a weekend once I've done my training session and then I've got the 75 minutes of cardio I will like drink this after my training session or towards the end of my training session it's just something that I really really look forward to so this or if I don't have this it will be a monster next up we're gonna talk hot drinks found something that i have loved and has got me through kind of like the chocolate cravings is having a hot chocolate in the evening with my final meal so my two favorites are the light hot chocolate drink just add water from aldi i really really love this sometimes it's not available in aldi so whenever it is we stockpile <laughs> 40 calories per serving. Chris has programmed it into my meal plan so I can just enjoy this. And it's just one of those things that, yeah, okay, could probably use 40 calories elsewhere. That will be more filling perhaps, but this is something sweet in the evening that I really love. The other one that I really love and I only got for my birthday yesterday, oh, I had it last night and it tastes so good, is the Options Belgian Chocolate Orange flavor. I freaking love this again like the protein powder if you like terry's chocolate orange you will really like this and surprisingly this is 39 calories the normal options is 40 calories so yeah but again love these now in my hot chocolates and also in my coffee unless i'm using the chocolate orange one because then i don't do this i have been loving the skinny syrups so the first one i've got which has been an og since before I started prep is <clears throat> the Skinny Food Co. Barista Zero Calorie um, Syrup in French Vanilla. I really love this. This is so lovely in iced coffees, but it's also really lovely in hot chocolates and in warm coffee, like normal coffee as well. I really, really enjoy this. A recent find that I got from TK Maxx and then used up in a week so we reordered it from Amazon, is the Jordan Skinny Syrup Dessert Collection. So it's zero calories, zero sugar. Caramel cream cheesecake. This is incredible. I adore this. Oh, it just, honestly, it smells so good and it tastes so good. I was kind of skeptical to try these because I thought like, oh, they'll just taste a bit off, but they don't. They're really, really lovely. And Chris hates iced coffee, hates anything to do with coffee, but I got him to try my iced coffee with this in, and he said he hates coffee, but it was the nicest coffee that he's, like, had. So, take from that what you will. Along the same lines of the skinny food, I have an array of the Skinny Food Co. syrup and sauces and i bloody love them my current favorites so the ones we've got are honey mustard chip shop curry this is incredible banana and caramel i like it but it tastes like the foam bananas so it's not like a thing that i grab every day burger relish which is quite sweet again really nice billionaire shortbread chocolate and my absolute favorite can we guess a theme here is the zero calorie chocolate orange i think this is like the fourth or fifth one that i've gone through on prep i have this on my oats i will have this in hot chocolate if i want to it just tastes bloody incredible um yeah i love it along the same lines as the um skinny food syrups the other sources that i've been really enjoying and chris has been really enjoying are the fake away sugar-free sauces our favorite is the indian one um, we're currently mixing this into like stir fry like veg and things like that and it tastes so good it's literally like you're having a curry and it's got a bit of a kick to it but it's amazing it's the burger flavor sauce and the pizza one they're quite sweet actually which we didn't expect them to be but they're still really good and it just makes having like it just adds something extra to your meals and can make your food just that little bit more exciting which is always like a plus on prep or when you're just dieting in general i've got two more things to show you in the evenings i have my yogurt bowl and in my yogurt bowl i use the my protein flavor drops my two favorites are the strawberry flavor 
and the raspberry flavour. So we use the Aldi's 0% fat free like Greek yogurt and if you don't have flavour drops in it, it doesn't taste the best, it's just quite like sour I would say. So adding flavour drops in just is a complete game changer and I love having these and then I mix my berries in and it honestly it kind of like turns into like an ice creamy sort of just deliciousness. Flavours we've got are lemon which I don't eat um use this Chris does he loves anything lemon flavoured and then butter biscuit and I've also used this in my coffees before which is really really nice that's another tip for the my protein flavor drops great in coffees and hot drinks and the final thing that has got me through prep last but not least is jelly <laughs> sugar free jelly i really like the raspberry and i really like the strawberry flavor honestly it's like 10 calories per serving and they're just a really good thing to have like they're not obviously the most nutritious but when you are on prep and when you're dieting if you want something sweet if you want something that's going to be quite voluminous jelly is so good i'm not saying this is like a nutritious meal but as far as like a kind of craving for a sweet tooth that is very low calorie um and has been extremely helpful on prep is the jelly <laughs> These things are my staples in terms of prep and dieting. Obviously, like I've said, they're not going to be the most nutritious. If you can get things like protein from your food, then that's obviously the best way for your body. It's the healthiest way. It's the most nutritious way for your body. But I thought I would just share with you some hacks, some things that I really love that I found on prep that have really gotten me through those tough times, those tough days where I do crave something sweet or just wanna change something up a little bit. And I guess just the little things that make me feel a bit more excited about the food I'm eating because I'm eating the exact same food every single day. There isn't any variety in the food. I mix up my veggies every, like, every now and then. I try and have different veggies at lunch than I do at dinner. But things like sauces and spices, different flavoured hot chocolates, things like that are just such a good way to shake things up and make it a little bit more interesting. Obviously, if you're not prepping and it, you're, you know, a lifestyle diet, I would say keep the variety in your food. It's way more fun way more tasty and there is no need for you to like restrict like this this is a competition prep so it is a very restrictive diet and these are just a few ways that you can shake it up a little bit and make it a little bit more interesting so i'm gonna go and stop talking and rambling on thank you very much for watching my video please let me know if there's anything specific that you would like to see please like comment subscribe all that stuff it really helps me out um and yeah i will see you in another video bye